President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud and federal member state leaders have come out with a plan to change Somalia's electoral politics. Much of the reaction to their suggestions has been negative. It is not easy, but important to understand the various elements of the proposed changes. So ADN TV has spoken to Mohamed Abderizak former Somali foreign minister, a presidential candidate in the last election, and a political reformer who has participated in the public debate and joins us for a five-part series to share his insight. Mohammed, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Mohammed, it's been a year since Hassan Sheikh Mohamud took office. You've had some time now to evaluate his administration, what they've done in terms of security, what they've done in terms of humanitarian issues, and how things have proceeded in terms of politics. Now, there's just been a meeting of the National Consultative Council, and afterwards it was announced several changes that have been proposed to electoral politics in Somalia. Why does electoral politics need to change? Well, uh, that's a very good question. Actually, we have not had uh, an election taking place in Somalia over the last uh, 56 years or so, uh, really very long time. And uh, we don't have an electoral model in place. We don't have a viable practical law in place. Uh, the parliament has enacted one uh, a few years back, but it's not implementable. So it is really important that the current government pushes the agenda on elections forward. Uh, the people are ready for it. We have seen, uh, for example, in Puntland how people came out and, and you know want to participate in their democracy. Uh, the rest of the country is the same. Um, and so we need to find a system that is practical, uh, that can accommodate the largest uh, number of uh, people to, to participate in it. Uh, so yes, I, I am aware of uh, the discussions that are ongoing on that, and we have worked on it. Uh, I personally worked on, on elections, so we need it. We need to have uh, an election model that the parliament should pass, and that Somali people should be allowed to, to elect their leaders. What are the challenges? How, how, who do you have to sell in the Somali society? Um, you know, how do you go about trying to get something like this to, to be backed by the public or by the elites? Or who matters in this case? Somalia, we do have a challenge in how governments uh, try to sell uh, policy to people first and then move forward on it. Um, you have to have consensus. Um, and consensus here, um, the, you have to look at the centers of powers. Um, the federal government uh, has a lot of times um, have to consult with federal member states and their leaders and have to reach a political agreement. Then that has to move to cabinet then that has to move to parliament and so forth. So it is a unique uh, in, in that sense that it has to be uh, going. So it, it is quite messy. It's not uh, really you know, the most efficient uh, way of, of, of pushing uh, policy, uh, but we have to do it and we have to overcome this challenge. Um, we need uh, for our government to move the development and security and economic agenda forward. And the way they should do it should be in such a way that balances consultative process with effectiveness. How do we proceed from here? Are the NCC proposals all going to be ratified? Or is there a process to it? The government should encourage these types of discussions to actually take place. Uh, perhaps even facilitate uh, for, for debates and discussions uh, to, to take place. Um, and, um, you know, I mean, the, the, the decision that came out from the NCC 
uh, really started a, a conversation um, and the possibility of a direct election for, for the federal uh, parliamentarians um, is, is really being debated and it can happen and if every government that comes pushes this envelope a little bit further eventually it will happen um, but the discussion has to to be enlarged the the ministry of interior uh, which is normally charged with this area should probably should push uh, uh, for these types of discussions to start taking place uh, and forward proposals and let the academics the civil society people amongst themselves uh, to discuss but you should also have facilitators that probably will direct uh, some of the discussions so that you have a meaningful discussion that has certain outcomes. Um, same thing has to be done throughout the country through the federal member states. Um, then the, the, the Council of Ministers has to uh, take their also uh, job as to coming up and drafting uh, uh, legislation, uh, take that to the parliament, um, and you have to sell it. You have to sell it through media, through, you know, I mean, it, this is, it, it is politics, and what you think is best, someone always thinks there's another better way to, to do it. Thank you very much, Mohammed, for sharing your wisdom on how Somalia is gonna move democracy forward. Join ADN TV tomorrow for part two of our interview with Mohammed Abderizak when we look at the proposal to set up a presidential system in Somalia. This is Africa Digital News Television, ADN TV. Thank you for joining us.